Hi, this is Prakash from 60 seconds. Today we'll look at a question from CAC 2005 and the question goes like this. A rectangular floor is fully covered with square tiles of identical size. The tiles on the edges are blue and the tiles in the interior are red. The number of blue tiles is same as the number of red tiles. So what can be the possible number of tiles along one of the edges of the floor? This is the question. So the diagram is something like this. So I have tiles of identical sizes where the tiles on the edges are blue and the tiles on the interior are red. So we have to find what can be the possible number of tiles on this edge or on this edge, one of the edges. So at this point of time, I would request you to pause the video and try to solve the question on your own. And once you are done, please look at for the solution. Okay. Assuming that you have tried the question, let us look at the solution. So, I don't know what is the number of tiles on each of these edges. So, let them be x and y. Here, for an example, I have put 10 tiles on one edge and 4 tiles on the other edge. But, these are dynamic numbers. These are unknown numbers and they will be x and y. So, let the edges be x and y. So, the number of blue tiles that I will have, so this side we have x tiles and along this edge we have another x tiles, so it will be 2x plus I will have total y tiles here, but this tile and this tile has already been taken into account when I was adding the tiles along this edge. So, I will not add them again. So I will consider only this tile and this tile. If the total number of tiles is y, it will be y minus 2. Because this tile and this tile have already been counted earlier. So I will get y minus 2 along this edge and y minus 2 along this edge. So I will get 2 times of y minus 2. On simplification it gives me 2x plus 2y minus 4. Similarly, I can calculate the number of red tiles. So, the number of red tiles will be, so along this edge, along this edge, I will get x minus 2 tiles because I cannot calculate or I cannot consider this tile and I cannot consider this tile. They have already been added in the blue tiles. So, I will have, if the length is x, I will get x minus 2 tiles as the number of red tiles along this edge and along this edge, I will get y minus 2 tiles. So, on simplification, I get xy minus 2x minus 2y plus 4. Now, it is given in the question that the blue tiles and the red tiles are equal. So, as per the question, blue tiles and red tiles are equal. So, I can equate this part and I can equate this part. So, I will get 2x plus 2y minus 4. This value equals xy minus 2x minus 2y plus 4, this value. Now solving this, finally I get this expression, xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 8 equals 0. Now, if you try to factorize this, you cannot factorize this. Because if I take x common from here, I get y minus 4. Then if I take minus 4 common from here, I get y minus 2. So I cannot factorize this. So to factorize this, I will add 8 on both sides. So this will become 16 and it will be easy to factorize. So I add 8 on both sides. So I get xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 16 equals 8. Now this can be factorized. I take x common from here. So I get y minus 4 and from here I get minus 4 common. I get y minus 4. And finally it gives me x minus 4 into y minus 4 equals 8. So this is the expression that I have. Now I know x and y are integers, x and y are both integers. So x minus 4 and y minus 4 should also be integers and since their product gives me 8, so x minus 4 and y minus 4 should be factors of 8. So if I factorize 8 or I can write 8 as a product of two numbers in two ways, either as 1 and 8 or 2 and 4. So, if x minus 4 and y minus 4 are 1 and 8, 
then it will give me 5 and 12 if x minus 4 equals 1 then I will get x equals 5 same way y minus 4 if it is equal to 8 it will give me y equals 12 similarly if I equate x minus 4 and y minus 4 to 2 and 4 I get 6 and 8 so x and y can be either 5 and 12 or 6 and 8 now the only option given is 12 so my answer has to be 12 Ages of the tiles can only be 5, 12, 6 or 8 only 12 is given as an option so answer has to be option number 2 so I hope the approach is clear so the same result we could have obtained another way if you remember we had obtained this expression xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 8 equals 0 this was the expression we had from which we factorized and we obtained this so we could have taken x common from here so we would have got y minus 4 this 4y and 8 goes on the other side so we would have got 4y minus 8 and I could have written x as 4y minus 8 divided by y minus 4 now I know x and y must be integers so I will plug in the different options and I will see which option gives me integral values of x and y so if I put y as 10 I get 40 minus 8 that is 32 divided by 10 minus 4 that is 6 which is not an integer so 10 cannot be my answer if I put 12 here I get 4 into 12 48 minus 8 that is 40 divided by 12 minus 4 8 which gives me an integer value 40 by 8 is 5 which gives me an integer value so 12 can be my answer if I put 14 here I get 14 into 4 56 56 minus 8 is 48 and here I get 14 minus 4 10 so I get 48 by 10 I get 48 by 10 which is definitely not an integer and last option if I try if I put 16 here I get 16 into 4 64 minus 8 I get 56 I get 56 divided by 16 minus 4 that gives me 12 again 56 is not divisible by 12 so again this will not be an integer so the only option which will be an integer will be the second option so my answer will be option number 2 what I am trying to tell you here is you could have either factorized it and then found the answer or another way is you could have just written the expression in this way and you can plug in the options and see which gives you an integer so you can solve the question this way also now this is a standard way of solving a question now I will tell you another approach where you can just use your little imagination and common sense to solve this question you don't have to write any equation you can just use your common sense and little imagination to solve this question without any trouble let's see how we can do that so I will take the very basic case where I know I have blue tiles on the edges and I have red tiles inside so let me have no red tiles let me have only the edges or the blue tiles something like this so I have this one layer of blue tiles and this is another layer of blue tiles now this forms my whole rectangular floor say just be with me you will understand what I am trying to do here so in this case if I look at blue tiles and number of red tiles so in this case I have so I have taken 10 blue tiles on one edge so total number of blue tiles I will get here is 20 and total number of red tiles I will get here is 0 so I have 20 blue tiles and I have 0 red tiles now let me introduce one layer of red tiles in between so which will be something like this so this is my one layer of blue tiles on the outside 
this is another layer of butyls on the outside and I introduce one layer of red tiles for that when I introduce one layer of red tiles this will be on the outer side same way this will also be on the outer side and I will get one layer of red tiles in between something like this so when I introduce one layer of red tiles in between the number of blue tiles increased by 2 because of this and because of this so I get 2 additional blue tiles and the number of red tiles I will get additionally is 8 total there will be 10 tiles in one in one row of which 2 are blue on the edges so I will get 8 red tiles and the blue tiles will increase by 2 so I will get 22 blue tiles if you can understand this you are done with the question then the question is very very simple let me take one more case I introduce one more layer of red tiles so this is my one layer of blue tiles outside this is another layer of blue tiles outside now I am going to add two layers of red tiles so I will get something like this one layer here and one layer here so if you see compared to this case compared to this case here number of blue tiles have increased by 2 these are my 2 additional blue tiles so total number of blue tiles will be 24 and number of red tiles will increase by 8 every time I increase one layer the number of red tiles will increase by 8 so it will become 16 now if I introduce one more layer it will become 26 and this will become 24 I hope this is clear so again the blue, number of blue tiles will increase by 2 every time the number of blue tiles will keep increasing by 2 number of red tiles will keep increasing by 8 so if I introduce one more layer it will become 26 and 24 then it will become 28 this will become 32 now I want you to notice something here the blue tiles were greater than the red tiles the blue tiles were greater than the red tiles all this way now the blue tiles have become lesser than the red tiles here going forward the blue tiles will increase only by 2 the number of red tiles will increase by 8 so obviously the red tiles will continue to be greater than the blue tiles so you will never get a case where the blue tiles and red tiles are equal. I am looking for a case where the blue tiles and red tiles become equal and you will never get those cases if you start with 10 tiles on one edge. You will never get that case. So 10 cannot be the number of tiles on one edge if I want the number of blue tiles and red tiles to be equal. So let me try the next option. If I take the second option, so number of blue tiles to start with when there are 0 red tiles it will be 24 12 and 12 then it will increase by 2 every time so it will become 26 28 30 32 and so on the number of red tiles will be 0 since there are 2 tiles on the edges I will get 10 tiles in between if there are 12 tiles then in between I will get 10 I will get 10 tiles in one layer so I will get 10 then it will become 20 then it will become 30 now here I observe that number of red tiles and blue tiles become equal so this can be my answer so 12 can be my answer let me check the other options let me check 14 so I have blue tiles red tiles let me check 14 so if I start with 14 I will get 28 initially then I get 30 32 34 and so on red tiles initially will be 0 then it will become 12 24 36 now since 36 is greater than 34 I will never get blue tiles equal to red tiles if I go further 
let me take the case of 16 times the fourth option so if i take 16 times i will have 32 blue tiles 0 red tiles then i will get 34 36 38 and here i'll get 0 14 28 42 again red tiles become greater than blue tiles so i will never have a case where blue tiles and red tiles are equal so the only case where i am meeting blue tiles and red tiles equal are when i take the number of blue tiles on one edge to be 12 so this has to be my answer so what i am trying to show you here is that without using any of those mathematical expressions or x and y you can solve this question just by using little bit of common sense and little bit of your imagination i hope this approach is clear if you have any questions please post them below and i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you